We made Auto 2 has an electronic that is very confident, but sometimes that electronic can be bad. You have to make some small fix, like changing on a small board. That's so simple. Let me explain you what to do. For example, on this one, we have the error number one. Error number one, if you call me by phone or you check on my web page, you're gonna see that error number one is a problem with the position for the shaft. That uh, PC board is working bad. We're going to change. For that, the first thing you have to do is to take out the top. For that, screwdriver. Now four. The other side in the same position. After that, you need to take out the arm. That's a number 5X. And you take out the arm. Now we can take out the coat. Inside, you're going to see that small board that I'm talking about. That is the position for the shaft that detects where's damage, where you have to apply the unbalance. Uh, for that, as you see, the first thing that you have to do is to disconnect the cable. So simple, okay? Uh, let me do something, turn it off to be sure nothing is wrong, and then take out the cable. It's only one position, don't worry about it. And uh, here, you have to disconnect those two bolts. You have to be careful. Sometimes those bolts are too tight. So don't apply force down because you are going to make to lose the calibration of this plate. If you need to apply force, you have to hold it by inside with your finger, okay? Because I'm gonna explain to you now why. When I take this out, you're going to see that this one is something very fragile, this is plastic. And this inside, I hope that you can, we can see it. Let me try to put more light there. Inside, you see that there is those metallic, those metallic teeth. Those are going, if you don't calibrate well this, when you put it in position, those teeth will break easily, this plastic thing. So when you're installing the new one, you have to be careful that you are not touching anything. How to do that? You come over here and you put this in position, all right? After you put in position, you put the bolts and put in the bolts. When I put the bolts, I don't tighten them. The only thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my finger here and to move slowly the shaft. To, you see, it's touching, so you have to be careful. If you do that, now it's in position. Yeah, it's touching. So I need to tighten. After I tighten, I check again. Moving with my hand. Nothing is touching, okay? Now it's good. All right, on that, the only thing that you have to do at the end is to connect the cable. As I told you at the beginning, there is no way that you can make a mistake. There is only one position here. Done, all right? Your problem is solved. Now you're gonna start working with the equipment. To put it back, you have to do the opposite. Install the arm here, put the cover, problem solved. A second problem that you can have with the Wheel balancer is a problem on the main PC boards, the CPU. Uh, it's not common, but it can happen. What I want to show you is to be familiar with this so you can fix it easy if you need. Of course, you're going to need my part. You have to talk to me, I'm going to send you the part. If you see inside, as soon as I take the cover, there is the, the, the main PC board. The, what you have to do, is, first of all, is disconnect the cables. There is only one position, so don't worry about it. This is bigger than this one, this one is the small, and there is only one position. There is no way that you can make a mistake. Take this out, 
take this out, take this out, okay? Now, you can put it in position, it will work. What you have to do is to take out the four bolts, the four nuts that are attaching to the thing. Ah, very important, very important, this is, this is only one position, but you can make a mistake. You have to be careful that this, which is the flat cable from the keyboard, it has only one position. If you make a mistake, it's not going to explode. The only thing is that it won't work. So, but if you want to avoid any mistake, just remember the clear and the green, where in the position, and then take it out. That's it. So now it's completely disconnected. Uh, now you need to take out the nuts. It's four nuts. Small, really small. You see the size? Hmm. Be careful. This is the second. This is the third one. And let's go with the fourth. After that, this is ready. This is the main PC board, easy, all right? There is no major things with this. Uh, when you have the new one, just only go and put it in the position, easy. You have to remember that on this side was the cable for the, for the, for the keyboard. Okay, now again, install this one. Second one. And at the end, remember that the cable, the flat cable for the, for the keyboard. You can tie them only with your finger. You don't need a tool, all right? Only with your finger. I'm attaching three only. And remember, the clear wear on your right. You're in position. And if you made a mistake, don't worry about it. Only it won't work, okay? So now, the next thing is to Connect the cables. Get the cables that are here. There is no way that you can make a mistake for the size. This is the other. That's it. You finish. So easy. Problem at all. Install it, turn it on, it's working. A third problem that you can have on a wheel balancer is a problem with the power supply. It's the board that gives all the 5 volts power to all the other electronic components. That one is here. To work with that, you have to put it away the cover, and you see that this one is the power supply that we're talking about. It has four nuts on this side, all right? Inside is, is the board. So you have to take those four so you can put that plate here and work. In the back, you will see the four Felix bolts that you have to work with, this side and the other side. As uh, soon as I have uh, the, the board outside, I will continue explaining it. All right, now that we took out the four bolts with the nuts on this side, you have to take all this structure with the plate, uh, because inside is the PC board, and you have to put it here to work. The best way to do it is that you have to disconnect those two, one cable, and the second as well. Don't worry about that. They are only in one position. You can, it's impossible for you to make a mistake. All right, so now you get this 
down and bring them to the top by the other side. At this moment, you have in front of you the PC board that gives all the power to all the equipment. If you see, what you have to do is to disconnect one, two, three, four, five, six cable plus two ca more cables here. At that moment, you can take this out and install the new one. If you see, there is nothing special that you can do. It's only take those bolts out. Let me get the screwdriver. Here's the screwdriver. With the screwdriver, the, you go one by one, okay? And then transfer to the new one. But be careful on something. What I can recommend to you is to, because I know them by memory, but for you it's gonna be the first time. Please, come take a picture so it is impossible for you to make a mistake. At that moment, you can work confident. The PC board is attached to, to the flange with this thing, this plastic thing, uh, that you have to know how to disconnect from the PC board um, from, from the plate. Uh, and the way is simple. You have to get one small a plier and then push them. You see Look what I'm doing? When you push them, you can take it out. All right? But it's very important to do it. You have to push them and take it out. You can take it also from the back of the plate in the same way and work more easy from the front. You push this and then you can take it out. But it's so simple. You have to do it with a small plier. All right. When you finish doing that, you are ready to transfer from one to the other. This is the good one, this is the bad one, and then you are going to transfer. For that, you need to work one by one. As I told you, a picture is good, all right? Picture is good. So you get this, put it in on one side, and then you bring the other, Maybe that you can find this one is blue, this one is black, this one has one connector here, this one doesn't, don't worry about it, okay? Most important thing that you have to check is that the switch has to be selected in 110. If you make a mistake and working, you do this, you're going to have a failure. It's, gonna, it's not going to work and it's so simple, like this switch has to be in 110. So, one by one, you get this one, and then you transfer for the new one. One, right, and go to the new one. Now, as well, you have to work in the same way with all the other cables, including the two for the resistor. Uh, let me do that in the best way and I'm going to show you when it's ready. Okay, at this time you disconnect all the cables, you transfer to the new board and now what you have to do is to fix the new board into the plate. Um, as I told you, you have to take this part from the old one to install it in a new one. Remember, before you finish that it has to be in 110. Very important. Okay, now look what I'm doing. I'm pushing this into the hole. All right, and now I put the new one into the four holes and then push it. Done. All right, now it's just, this is attached for the new one. What you have to do is the opposite. Come over here, transfer to this side. And when you have it here, install the cable that you took out. Cable that's going to the power supply on the PC board. And the cable, small cable for opening and closing the hood. When you're ready, place it in position. And install 
the four bolts with nuts from the back to the front. And using that is a procedure that is simple and this machine is, is ready to work. Um, anything else that you might need, you can give us a call uh, to see if there is anything additional that you might know.